In this video, I'm going to describe monovision. Monovision, also known as blended vision, is where one eye is targeted to see distance and the other eye is targeted to see near. Monovision can be done with any form of vision correction surgery, including LASIK, PRK, LASIK, ICL, or with lensectomy cataract surgery with an IOL. With monovision, typically the dominant eye is targeted for distance and the non-dominant eye is targeted for near, but this is not always the case. Some patients come in to see me where the non-dominant eye is targeted for distance where their contact lenses. In this circumstance, we will usually continue to target the same eye for distance. Dominance can be determined by a simple test in the clinic or figuring out which eye you would hold a camera up to or sight a gun with. This would be the dominant or master eye. Monovision is a brain phenomenon. For those in whom it works, the brain pays attention to the distance eye and ignores the near eye to see distance and vice versa for near. There is no necessity to cover one eye to make this work. Some patients do not tolerate monovision for many different reasons. Some of these reasons include the fact that some people feel off balance or nauseated, others feel like they have lost depth perception, some people get dizzy or get a headache, some people feel that while they can see distance and near, neither is clear enough. In those who do well with monovision, none of these issues occur. In my own case, I had my LASIK surgery retreated in my right or non-dominant eye in order to create a small amount of monovision. In my case, when I pushed monovision to a higher level, I couldn't tolerate it because I felt off balance. Patients who come into my office already successfully doing monovision with their glasses and or contact lenses tend to be great candidates for monovision. In general, women tend to do better than men with monovision, but this is not always the case. People with non-technical jobs and who are not perfectionistic tend to do better with monovision. People with technical jobs or perfectionists like engineers, ophthalmologists, and teachers tend not to do as well. Prior to performing a monovision treatment, we can test if you will like it with a pair of glasses in the office or the pair of contact lenses outside the office. Typically, it doesn't take very long to determine whether you will adapt to monovision. Often, you will know almost immediately if it works for you, although occasionally there can be a period of adaptation. With the trial glasses for monovision, keep in mind that the treatment will work better in the eyes than it will in the glasses. The glasses tend to be heavy and cumbersome and they can distort vision. If you wish to try monovision and contact lenses, this can be arranged. If you have astigmatism in your prescription, we'll have to special order the contacts that may take a week. Otherwise, we can give them to you at the time of the initial visit. If you've never worn contacts, we can put the lenses in and take the lenses out for you in the office. Alternatively, if you have a friend or family member who is familiar with contacts, they can remove them at the end of the day for you. If you have dense cataracts, it will be impossible to try on monovision prior to surgery, and I will have to use my best judgment in consultation with you about whether to do monovision or not. If you have amblyopia, also known as a lazy eye, and not to be confused with a cross eye, or poor vision in one of your eyes for some medical reason, monovision is also not an option. The amount of monovision that can be tolerated varies from patient to patient. In all circumstances, the better reading we make in the monovision eye, the poorer the distance in that eye. In some circumstances, myself included, some patients will only tolerate partial monovision, where the reading eye is not set as close. In this circumstance, you will have some near functionality, but may still be required to wear part-time readers. If you opt for full monovision, the reading eye set close, you may experience a blur area at intermediate or computer vision, requiring glasses to help with intermediate or computer vision. This circumstance is more common in patients over age 50 to 55 who do full monovision. Keep in mind that monovision does not result in perfect vision at all distances since one eye is doing most of the work for distance and the other for near. Some monovision patients may be bothered by blur or halo in the reading eye at nighttime or in low light conditions. For this reason, some monovision patients feel like they need part-time driving glasses so that both eyes are set for distance, particularly for night driving or unfamiliar areas. When I do monovision on patients who play golf or tennis who want to improve their distance vision while they're playing their sport, we can either put a contact lens in the eye that's set for reading or put the prescription into sunglasses to bring the near eye up for distance. Some monovision patients feel like they have good social reading, meaning if they pick up a menu or are looking at prices of the supermarket under bright lights, they do fine. However, if they are sitting down and reading for hours or are looking at small or low contrast print or are reading in low lights, the reading vision is not good enough. In this circumstance, some monovision patients do use part-time low power reading glasses to assist the distance eye in reading. An alternative for people that do a lot of close work, like jewelers, pharmacists, and nail technicians, is to target both eyes for reading. We call this a bilateral undercorrection. In this case, you will be able to see to read and do the computer without glasses, as well as function indoors without glasses. However, for distance activities like driving, sporting events, and seeing a TV across the room, distance glasses will likely be necessary. 
If you are unhappy with monovision or bilateral undercorrection, it is easy to reverse it with additional treatment. In summary, while not tolerated by everyone, monovision is a great way to decrease the need for glasses for both distance and near.